Blessings and greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Christ Jesus. I am your radio apostle, apostle designate, Minister John E. Ross, creator and host of this podcast, lead minister and founder of the Omega International Prophetic Ministries, and thank you for tuning in for Season 4 of the Let's Talk to the Lord Gospel Radio Talk Show. Kingdom, our guest for this episode of Let's Talk to the Lord Gospel Radio Talk Show, our guest representing praise and worship minister, recording artist, and program director of the Music for Christian Beats, U.S. Radio Network, Donna Walton host of the Donna Walton Gospel Show and the Friday Night Gospel Jams Hour and the Saturday Night Hip Hop Hour and owner of the Independent Gospel Artist E! Magazine. My sister has a lot of commitments in this season and will not be able to be with us. However, on behalf of the Donna Walton Gospel Network's are the radio show hosts representing the radio station. So first up, we have Tony D. Kelly, host of On the Jazz Tip and the station general manager. Brother Tony, welcome to Let's Talk to the Lord. Thank you for having me, Brother Ross. I appreciate it. Amen. And please tell the kingdom about Tony D. and show and your journey with jazz and our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh, Tony Kelly is um, from North Carolina. Uh, I was born and raised in a little town called Elizabethtown, North Carolina. I, I reside right now outside of Raleigh, North Carolina, which is... Uh, uh, the capital. Uh, I live about 10 miles from uh, Raleigh, North Carolina. Uh, uh, I, I got to know Donna uh, through a friend of mine. Oddly enough, he's from Oklahoma, and uh, we kind of produced together. And, uh, and I was just telling him it was so hard to get played because a lot of uh uh, radio personalities or uh, 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 DJs or whatever, uh, when you send your music, they, if you're not represented by uh, uh, a, a, a re- recording label or you don't have a, a, a manager or something like that, uh, you have to pay them to play your music. And yeah. it's very hard. It's very hard for an indie artist since most indie artists work on a budget, and we don't have the money to even uh, afford to uh, a, a manager, or we're not really not hooked up with a record label. So because we, we're independent and we do our, our own thing pretty much. So um, he kind of let Donna hear my music and. Uh, uh, it, it's kind of funny because I didn't hear from him in, for, for about two weeks, and I was like, "Wow, this is the same old thing." I have got all these radio stations and all these names. I got. A, I'm looking at a book right now. That's about 20 different radio stations, uh, and I sent my music to all of them, and nobody responded. Nobody say said, "Well, Mr. Kelly, we like your music, but." Or oh, we don't like your music. This is what you should do to get played. Nobody gave me any kind of uh, 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 rebuttal or anything like that. When I called, when I finally got the nerve to call Donna, uh, the first thing she said to me was, uh, she didn't say hello. She didn't say how you doing, brother Kelly. It was nice to meet you. She said, brother, have you heard your music on the radio yet? I hit the floor. I was in tears because I've been doing this for quite a long time, and nobody would play my music. I didn't know if I was doing anything wrong, if my productions were even right or or, or anything like that. So I just thank God for Donna. She's doing such a, a wonderful job for not only the indie industry, but all the indie artists that uh, submit their music. So it's a great thing. I truly love her. She's become 
a, a great friend of mine, and uh, I, I can't say enough about it. Uh, the industry really needs her. Um, I started uh, uh, out playing when I was nine years old. I was the minister of music at my church at mm-hmm. nine years old, and uh, 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 I've been playing ever since. My mother heard me play. Uh, uh, we were playing around. We had a piano in, in our house, old piano in our house, and I would listen to uh, the records my older brothers and sisters, the old Motown stuff, and I would pick out the notes and play, finally figure out how to play the melody or something like that. And the piano, she made me take lessons. Well, uh, piano, she only took for a year or two, two years, I believe it was. And she kind of figured out, okay, now you know how to read the music a little bit. If you hear it one time, you'll be able to play it. So she was like, I'm not going to waste any more of your parents' money. So uh, I took for two years, and uh, I, I certainly enjoyed it. And I, I grew up in, in, in band in high school. I was a trumpet player, and I ended up uh, playing the military bands. I went to the military, Armed Forces School of Music in North Virginia. And, uh, I enjoyed that very much, and I didn't turn my life over to Christ until after the military. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I uh, I uh, subsequently uh, uh, got hooked up with drugs, and I didn't know how to fight my way out. And sometimes uh, we get caught up in the thing, and it, it was it was really hard, and. Uh, uh, now that I look back on it, I just thank God for salvation. I thank God for His grace because it's, yes, it's, it was a lot. It was a lot of times that uh, I was in the wrong situation. Not other people put me in those situations. Me myself putting putting me in those situations that uh, uh, could have went the other way. And it was nothing but God's grace and His mercy that uh, kept me alive and kept yeah. kept me moving forward. So uh, I can remember uh, the day I got saved. I was playing for this church in here in Cary, North Carolina. Uh, the church wasn't very big. But, uh, uh, I started to play, and uh, the, the the minister was preaching, and I can remember the spirit being very heavy that day. And, and uh, Pastor John, I, 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 I tell you, I walked in that church with a crack pipe in my pocket, uh, crack in my pocket, uh, cigarettes, the whole nine yards. And I'm behind the, uh, on the hand and playing to the glory of God with these drugs yeah. in my pocket. So I can remember, I remember you feel a tugging. Uh, uh, but uh, not, not not that I didn't know what it was, but you feel that tugging, and and at that moment, uh, next thing I know, the service was over, and I I I didn't know what to do. I didn't say anything, and before I can walk up the door, uh, the pastor stopped me. Uh, Pastor Kareem Jackson, I never forget it. She's my that's my spiritual mother. She she touched me in the chest, grabbed me, touched me in the chest, and she said, "You will never walk in this sanctuary again like you are." And she started to pray, and she put my hand in my belly, and she started to pray, and she just prayed. Mind you, church service is over. Everybody is gone. It was me, her, my wife at the time, and. Uh, 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 another missionary It's only a couple of people Probably four or five people Including myself And she started to pray And she just in, invoked God And she just invoked the spirit of God In my life and, and and she prayed And she prayed And I just she, I can remember her asking One of the mothers She said give me that trash can over that corner She picked up the trash can And that thing that was inside of me Hallelujah. That thing that was inside of me, I threw it up in that trash can. I've never been the same again in my life. And I thank God that I'm here today because if it wasn't for that, I would not be here talking to you right now. 
and uh, and and I know my testimony is not everybody's testimony, yeah. and uh, but that's the way uh, life rolls for me. But I I got out of it, and you can get out. It wasn't a twelve step program because I tried that. My twelve step program was Jesus Christ, the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. That was my program. So it wasn't it wasn't a twelve step program. That didn't do me any good. It, it was only me giving up uh, what I, I, I needed, and I want I wanted to be I wanted to be different. I wanted to I wanted to give those rugs up. I I, I, I needed to. Yes, and sir. so uh, once you submit yourself uh, to Christ, uh, He'll do the rest. If you just make one step towards Him, He'll do the rest. So I Amen. understand God. That testimony, brother, goes right to the the topic that Donna chose for this podcast, the miraculous providence of God's work. Amen. And we thank Amen. God that God is working, hallelujah, in thank your you. life. Please tell us about the song that we're going to hear during this podcast, This Is How I Praise. Well, This Is How I Praise is <laughs> kind of came out of uh after I I had moved to Philadelphia, uh, with Pennsylvania, Marshall, as a matter of fact, for a few years, and uh, I was doing ministry up there with a uh, pastor friend of mine that went up there to kind of help his music ministry. And I moved back to North Carolina, and uh, I uh, was in, a, in this church, and praise team was was. They were off the chain. They were they were great, and, and the minister stood up and asked the visitors, visitors to stand, and so I stood, and um, she asked, uh, uh, "What did I do?" I told her, you know, uh, where I came from, and you know, all all that kind of stuff, and she asked, "What did I do in the previous ministry?" And I told her I was a minister of music, and she was like, everybody started clapping. I was like, oh, what, these guys got musicians up there? For, why is that so important? I didn't know these guys were leaving, and so they were looking for a minister of music at the time. Mm-hmm. So anyway, anyway, um, uh, I think uh, to that Monday or Tuesday, uh, they were having a rehearsal, and they invited me to come. Uh, uh, they wanted to hear me play uh, because they were looking for uh, a musician. So I came and uh, I was playing. Uh, I was playing some songs, and uh, the assistant pastor there was like, "Well, can I hear your shout music like that?" And so I was like, "Okay." Uh, so I, I started to play uh, a little praise, and she said to me, "Uh." Oh, that's good," she says. But uh, your, your shout music is a little funky, like that. And I was like, "Wow, okay, I've never heard that before." And I didn't know, you know, that, that was going to have that kind of reaction. That she was going to react like that. And when I went home, uh, God, I was talking to God, and God was like. Uh, well, that's what she thinks. I'm the one that made you funky. So, uh, and so <laughs> that's when some of the lyrics came out. Is God made me funky, and this is how I praise. My praise ain't your praise. If you don't like it, well, you just don't like it. God, this is how God made me, and this is what He put in in my fingers to do, and and these are the words that He put in my mouth to say. Hey. So that's how that song, "This Is How I Praise," came about. Amen, and we look forward to hearing that song on this podcast. Next up is Brother Jay Studd. Brother Studd, welcome to Let's Talk to the Lord. Man, thank you, thank you. It is truly a blessing to be uh, in the midst of this radio show among these great uh, men of God. You know, uh, thank you for having me. Amen, and please tell the kingdom about your show, Day and Times, and the song we will be hearing, Adam Up. Okay, well, look, I am the host of the Saturday Night Gospel Hip Hop Hour, uh, which airs every Saturday night at, uh, at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, it's, it's a great opportunity. I thank Donna Walton 
Uh, I love her dearly. Uh, she just she gave me this opportunity to, to be able to bless people with this platform of being the host of this radio show to uh, to play artists that that don't um, that don't have the opportunity as well as the mainstream artists because you know we're we're overlooked at being you know uh, what people say as local artists you know yeah. so sometimes we're we're overlooked you know so mm-hmm. uh, with this platform I just I give a lot of people you know. Uh, the opportunity to get your music played. I mean, I play I play uh, artists from Jamaica, uh, Uganda, um, Kenya. You know, I just they, they hit me up and and we review it, we send it in. You know, what I'm saying we just get them that that chance to to get our play. Uh, and the song "Add Them Up," uh, the song that you are going to hear is uh, that that song right there. It's it's an up tempo song, but it means a lot to me because growing up. Um, I grew up in the projects, uh, Columbus, Mississippi, a small town in Mississippi, uh, one parent home. And my thing was, I used to, I used to see how other kids used to walk around with the with the high dollar shoes on, the Jordans, the Nikes. Um, you know, my mama couldn't really just afford, you know, those type of materialistic things. You know, at, at my age now, I call it materialistic because it really doesn't matter. But you know, growing up as a kid in the eighties. Yeah. That's what that that, that was that was popping. You had to have you know if, if your outfit was you know what I'm saying it had to they had to coordinate with your with your shoes your whole fit. Yeah. And I just used to look at I used to look at other kids like you know why why do they have you know say why are they in a position to get that and I can't get it you know and that, and growing up that's what that's what I was led on. Yeah. Why why they have that you know somebody else get a new car and I'm riding around in the old school like. Okay, what are they doing different that I'm not doing that they can have this? So I just I just really had to, you know what I'm saying, sit down. I had to tell myself, you know, like I have to add up the blessings that God is already blessing me with. I'm 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 able to open my eyes, I'm able to have the use of my limbs, mm. I'm able to, to, to see my family, I'm able to do things that, that somebody else in the world can't do. Yeah. So I so I took it up on myself. That song with Adam Up was like, you know, these blessings I'm getting, I have to add them up. Yeah, you know, so that so that that song right there just really, you know, like I said, it's an up tempo song, but it really means a lot. You know, what I'm saying it means a lot to me because, like, I just really had to 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 realize where I came from to understand that, you know, I've been getting blessed. I just can't see it. Amen. I had I had I had to open my eyes to see that, you know, the the shoes, the cars, and all that. You know, so that ain't that it really didn't mean anything. You know, what I'm saying yeah. God bless me. I'm, I'm 32 years old now. I'm 32 years old, and it was back in my 20s where I thought that I wouldn't make it to see 25. I wouldn't make it to see 30. Yeah. So that's why I praise God the way I do because he brought me out of situations that I shouldn't have been in, you know what I'm saying, but I ended up. I ended up in those situations hanging around with the wrong crowd, and I just had to slowly just, you know, I had to cut the rope. I was hanging around with these people, and I just had to cut the rope and bag myself off. So yeah, that's that's what that track that's that's how that track originated. Add them up. Add them up. Amen. Amen. And amen again. Our next guest is no stranger to Let's Talk to the Lord. He's from episode eighty of season three. Why Jesus, brother Dwayne Gott. Welcome back to Let's Talk to the Lord. Hey, thanks for having me. Minister John Ross, man, it's a pleasure hearing your voice once again. Amen. Amen. What's been going on with you, Brother God, since we've last spoken? Uh, a lot's been going on, and I know a lot's been going on with you. I see that the, the Lord is blessing you in mighty ways, and you're doing miraculous things. Amen for the Lord. So me, myself, um, I've just been working hard in church again with the Bishop Hezekiah Walker out here in New York City playing that bass every Sunday morning. Yeah. Yes, and God's been moving. He's been blessing. I've been pushing the single, um, Help Me to Pray. And um, I've been invited to um, be a host on the Donna Walton Gospel Network. And I'm hosting the show, The Gospel Praise Mixdown. And it's on every Friday evening from 10 to 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where I play gospel indie artist music, commercial free nonstop for a half hour. Then I move on to an interview with a special guest. So um, I just want to um, shout out to um, Donna Walton 
for um, even thinking of me and, and, and allowing God to um, allow her to follow her heart and give me a call and say, hey, D. God, I would like for you to come down on my radio show and be a host. I was so excited. You know, I had to pray about it first, minister. You know how it goes, right? Yeah. <laughs> so the Lord, she said, go ahead. You know, um, the doors are opening up, so go ahead and step right in there. So if you don't mind me saying, I would like to just um, – Mention to the indie, the gospel indie artists that's out there that may be listening. If they want to get their music played, they can email D Walton at three nine two one two at gmail dot com. That's D Walton three nine two one two at gmail dot com, and she will definitely play your music. She is playing gospel indie music of people that's not being heard today. Amen. 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 And, man, Brother God, as a part of the theme or topic Sister Donna Walton selected for this podcast is the miraculous providence of God's work. Could you please take a few moments and give us a few words on our topic? Well, when you say miraculous, the only thing I could think of is a miracle worker. Miracle worker. Yeah. Because we know Jesus is a healer. And I have a little testimony. I had gotten sick from a um, a blood disease because I had taken a test. And in the results of that, um, I had, you know, winded up in the hospital. And then when I went back to my uh, physical doctor and I was telling them about everything that um, happened to me, he said he had heard of patients that died from what I had. So that's my testimony that God healed me from a blood disease that many oh, have died from. Yes, so I'm here to, you know, praise him and give him all the glory because if it had not been for him and his mercy and grace, Hallelujah. I would not be here today, minister. Amen. Amen. So that's the miraculous God I know. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Mm. And amen again. Kingdom. Yes. Divine providence refers to God's preservation of creation, his cooperation with everything that happens, and God's guidance. It's important to note here, while God cooperates with good, he is observing and observant of evil as well. And there is no evil that will go unpunished. The law may not catch you, but God sees and he knows and he keeps record of every wrong and does not participate in evil deeds. The word miracle is usually described as any beneficial event that is physically impossible or impossible to confirm by nature. So, in other words, miracles are God's activity that leaves God's people in awe and wonder and bears witness to God's greatness. Satan has developed his own ways of blessing his followers also, but only for the purpose of greater destruction. In the end, and God may choose not to act, but you best believe his non-action is not for the purpose of upholding evil deeds or practices, for ye shall reap what you sow. God's providence declares that God is the creator of heaven and the earth and that all occurs in the universe takes place under God's sovereign guidance and control. For those of us in relationship with with God, we believe that God governs creation as a loving father working all things. Hallelujah. For the good. Hallelujah. Praise God. The pages Amen. of God's word are filled with miraculous acts of God, and mm. those of us who believe in the trustworthiness of Scripture surely believes in God's miraculous power, and that includes Amen. the universe as a whole, the physical Amen. world, the affairs of nations, humanity, destiny, successes, and failures. What we must understand, guess, and keep is because there seems to be some confusion about Satan and his fallen angels who were mm -hmm. cast out of heaven into this region and mm -hmm. has established his systems and kingdoms in our world according to God's sovereign nature, allowing him to do so. 
we know that God's creation, us, have a free will, and free yes. will is also God's sovereign act, and it's Amen. our free will that leaves us with a false perception that we can govern ourselves how we want with no accountability, and that Satan has intellectually deceived many into believing that there is no and will be no eternal consequences, and life as we know it will go on indefinitely by using false religions, philosophies, and science, bringing challenge to the Son of God, his human birth, and his sacrificial death on the cross, and the power of his resurrection, thus bringing to an end Satan's demonic rule and control. Praise yeah. God. Psalms Amen. 103 and 19 declares the Lord has established his throne into the heavens and his kingdom's rules over all. Psalm 66 Amen. and 7 declares, who rules by his might forever, whose eyes keep watch on the nations. So let not the rebellious exalt themselves. So as I Amen. conclude, the greatest battle that we wrestle with is your own mind and the Amen. choice of whom to serve. And the establishment of your faith Are you one who believes that there is no God And that mm. their uh, things are as they are Thus life goes on kind of like Kesara, sera, Which means mm. whatever will be will be <laughs> Or have you accepted false doctrines And sciences that gives the universe A false perception of the truth Or Will you become a child of God because you have accepted, meaning received Christ into your life and live by the word of God, filled and led by God the Holy Spirit, living in you pure and holy with the fruit of the Spirit made active in you, finding your created purpose and completing it by the holy and perfect will of of God. Praise the Amen. Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise Hallelujah. The Lord. Last Hallelujah. but not least, J.T. Cotton, please tell us about your show, Days and Times, on the network called Holy Matrimony Love Jams. Well, first, I'd like to say it's an honor to be here uh, tonight. Mm. Um, there's no moment where I abuse or take advantage of any opportunity to be able to share the word with someone. And it's very important that we, we do that on any platform, that we don't lose sight of that. Yeah. Uh, Holy Matrimony Love Jams is each and every Friday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, the aim of the show is to inspire married couples, romance, and love, but God's way. Uh, yeah. We play smooth R&B and clean we play, uh, I'm sorry, smooth gospel and clean R&B, um, while also highlighting the independent artists. Hey, man, and please tell us about the song we will hear during this episode, Where Would I Be? Well, you know, um, it's, it's funny because Where Would I Be also ties in with your topic, and when I say... Um, this is this is my life here, you know, uh, going yeah. through so many different things, you know, and at times not not even understanding why they're happening, what's going on, uh, no one to talk to, no one to relate to to, to me, um, but God was always there with me, you know. Yeah. Uh, when I made my mistakes, um, when I went through various ups and downs, He still was there for me he still kept me he still uplifted me yeah uh, and and when other people have been dead and gone you know he he saw something and continues to see something in my heart which allows his grace to continue to um keep me here yeah uh, you know i have i have been born into this uh in, in into the church um my parents, uh, family, we've all been in the church for a very long time. My musical journey started at the age of two, 
And um, all the way up to now, to the age of 34, I've been blessed to accomplish so many things. And uh, Where Would I Be is just a testimony of everything that he's done for me and and mainly how he's kept me. You know, because going through this journey as a father, going through this journey as an older brother, going through this journey just as a Christian and just all of the trials and tribulations and things that we go through on a daily basis is not easy. Yeah. And and I'm blessed to have a a, a song like this, which is a, a music message that I know that will touch the hearts of, of many and that many people can relate to. Amen, amen, and amen again. Amen. Kingdom, all the music you have heard and will be hearing during this podcast is available in all digital outlets, so please support your indie artists. Kingdom Let's Talk to the Lord can be heard on Spotify, Alexa, YouTube, His Hop Radio, Elations Radio, iTunes by Positive Power, Double XI, and Jerry Royce Live, Sensational Sounds Radio, Kingdom Mandate Radio, Kingdom Influencers Broadcast.com every Wednesday at 6 o'clock Central Time, WFF CDB Lexington, Kentucky. My latest singles, Remember Now Thy Creator, are available in all digital stores. Kingdom, we have began a radio station. To listen, please visit our website. Let's talk to the Lord Radio dot international and please download our app from your app play store. On our radio station we have twenty four seven music talk and more. And as always, until next time, may God bless you and may God keep you living your life under a open heaven. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody amen. say amen. 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 Hey, 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 Minister John Ross, before you yes, go, sir. I'd just like to mention that um this on this coming Friday I'm opening up my show with your single. Amen. What a blessing. Yes. Praise God. Amen. Yes. So I'm going to send you the link, you know, if you are um, available, which I know you're a busy man, if you can tune in and, and just catch the first song or two. Yes, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes. Amen. And before we go on, though, I want to go back to to Brother Tony D. Can you tell the listening audience the, the days and times that they can hear your show? Yes, on um, the jazz tip is every Friday night at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, you can catch on the jazz tip with me, Tony D., uh, and uh, Donna com. And remember to go to our E magazine, IGA, independent artists, gospel artists, and uh, uh, and you can catch my music on www.cleanheart.net. That's my website. You can go and buy my music there. That's Clean Heart with a K, K L E A N H E A R T dot net. Thank you, Brother Ross. I appreciate you. Amen. And we want to say a special thank you for Sister Donna Walton for bringing us together and bringing this podcast together. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hey, man. hey guys. It was amen. a pleasure, man, listening to you, man, and hanging out with you tonight. Hey, man. It was a pleasure. Oh, yeah. So, man. Same here, man. Same here. Yeah, we have to do this again real soon. Oh, yeah. Most definitely. I like this. I like this. I like this. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I got. I got to get have, down to church. We gotta make a show around this. <laughs> <laughs> I got to look. I'm serious. All right, brothers. Y'all be easy. Right, Y'all need anything? Y'all need anything? Let me know, bro. If I can help you with anything. We got you. All right, we'll we'll All do. Right. Hey Jay, I'm gonna reach out to you, man. Okay, appreciate it, man. All right. All right. Later. <laughs>